Hello there, Virgos. Welcome to your mid-March. And she doesn't know how she's going to be able to do it. And she was just like sitting there, well, standing there uh, strategizing, like, can I swim across? I don't really know if I'm going to be able to make it all the way across. And then all of a sudden, there's this rush of wind, okay? It's like really, really strong wind kicking up like a cloud of dust storm. And then all the... Um, lily pads in the pond they have these giant lily pads they just kind of got swept away from the side of the pond from the wind and then they kind of line up in kind of like a curvature formation perfectly lined up for her so that she can jump from lily pad to lily pad to lily pad to kind of um, cross the pond so what I feel is you have some really, really strong spiritual protection coming through for the latter part of this month. And I feel like, you know, some things working behind the scenes, some, it could be physical people working behind the scenes unbeknownst to you. Or it could be, you know, your, your spirit guides, the universe, conjuring something to facilitate progress and forward movement for you. So that's what it feels like to me. It, it's very, very spiritual. And so there is a situation where I feel like you're not really sure how you can get there, you know. So usually when we think of like the, the next step, okay, I'm over here and I want to get to this side. But I don't really know logically how I'm going to get there. It requires us to kind of think outside the box a little bit. And it requires us to kind of, um, I don't want to say relinquish control. It's not so much about relinquishing control. But it's almost like when the timing is right, the path will be shown for you to move forward. That's what it feels like to me. So it seems almost as if something is working behind the scenes and something is coming into alignment for you. So you can, it's kind of... It's going to allow you to bridge that path between where you are and where you need to go. But the timing is just not there just yet, okay? And so I feel like within the next weeks, something is going to be made available for you and the path is going to be shining bright and you're going to be able to get yourself forward and moving. The second scene that I saw is um, I see this young couple. They're, they seem like they're very much in love. They're... Um, lying down, you know, looking, facing forward, facing the sky. So they're watching the clouds drift by. And um, they're kind of like on a slope of, of a hill, okay? So she's like lying here, he's lying here, and they're, they're watching the clouds kind of float by. It's a very pastoral countryside type of a image or type of an environment. And then she's all like, look at that cloud up there. It looks like a hand. And then all of a sudden, the wind whooshes again, and the, the hand turns into like this, you know, kind of like that okay sign, like this is, that, that's, the, that's the one. So I feel like it's almost, you're getting some type of signs or signals, especially if you have started recently dating somebody, or there's somebody who's in the picture for you that's new. I feel like the universe is telling you, that's it, that's the one, that's the one that is actually going to be really, really good for you, or you're getting some confirmation from your external environment. It could come in through um, physical, you know, people telling you, hey, I really like the person that you're dating, he or she is a keeper, or um, I'm seeing you almost like the person that you're with. I feel almost like they're growing, okay? They're growing, they're changing. They're, 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 like I said, they're matching up to your speed or they're matching up to your vibration or your energy level. They've gone through a lot of transformation and a lot of changes within themselves in order to be in your environment, in order to catch up to you, and in order to be the person that they feel would be your rightful or your appropriate match. And so I feel like the universe is just like telling you, you know, be patient with this person. They've done a lot of self-work. They're, they're still of cups. And the Ace of Cups is almost like that, that, that big love, that great love. The outpouring of love towards another person. And especially I feel like there's somebody in the picture who's really uh, carrying a torch for you, okay? Like they, they really, really like everything about you 
and I feel like a lot of the times too, uh, Virgos shine really brightly in their work environment. You're diligent, you keep to yourself. And I feel like, you know, people look at you and they're just like, wow, that person takes their job really seriously. They're very professional, very dignified. They don't sit there and gossip. They don't um, slack off. Whenever they turn in something, it's always done on time. And then whenever they do something, they always dot their I's and cross their T's. And overall, they're just a really, really, um, like a very admired and a very critical asset to the team, to the work environment, even to the family unit. So I, I definitely feel like you might have some love situation blossoming in your work environment where somebody is really uh, admiring you, okay? I also feel as well, you, what I'm seeing is with the four of coins, this is a situation where somebody is not able to let us go, okay? Like they try and try and try, but they hold on very, very tightly to the things that they, um, they believe in or the things that they, they feel like they love. And I believe as well, you might be dealing with somebody who's a little bit like this, okay? They're very fearful of change. They're very fearful about losing you. They're also very much in love with you. And I also feel like, you know, it's not easy for this person to express themselves. It's not easy for them to let their guard down and have an outpouring of love towards you. And it's especially not easy for them to talk about, you know, how they feel. And in a way, they've been through their fair share of disappointments. We have here the Four of Coins and the Four of Cups. This is like um, a little bit about, you know, looking in the, the, looking in that wishing well, okay? So the Four of Cups, looking at, in that wishing well and having a lot of options on the table, but then also wondering like, you know, where's the big love? Where's the, the one that's supposed to be, that's made for me, that's meant for me? So pining over this lost love even. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's been through their fair share of troubles and their fair share of misfortune in their life. And I feel like as a result of it, they really, really see the value in the right people. They know that you're a major asset. They know that, you know, great love comes once in a lifetime. And they're not able to let go of this connection and they're not able to move on from you. And so I feel like, you know, if you have recently um, stopped communicating with somebody, for those of you who are dealing with like new love, they're really pining for that affection. They're really pining after the connection. If there has been sadness and regrets, associated with, you know, like a, an end of a relationship or a temporary breakup, I do feel the situation is going to come back around because somebody is not able to let you go. And they're, they're kind of sulking in, in pain as a result of it. I feel like some of you might have uh, told somebody, let's give it a break. You're, you're not where I want to be and you're not really the person that I, I feel like, you know, I can be with. And then I feel like they're aware of that and they're they're because of that they're aware that they're not where you want them to be and so they're trying to change themselves and get things moving for themselves so that they can be your equal match okay and then I do feel like they're gonna come back and there is this massive major outpouring of love that's gonna be coming into the picture here and I feel like you know whatever sadness and grief and sorrow that you might have had if you have recently you know broken up with somebody or taken a break from another person or if you were dealing with somebody who was closed off and they couldn't express themselves to you you're gonna be sailing away from troubled waters when it comes to your emotional life okay so that's what I'm seeing here in these uh, four cards the other thing that I'm seeing here is there is this immense sense of karmic justice coming into the picture to balance things out. We have here the justice card. And um, when it's a major arcana card, it usually denotes to me a situation where, you know, things have been, and I, I mentioned this a lot for Virgos, things have been a little bit unfair. The, the energy exchange in a work environment, you're doing all the work. The energy exchange in a family type of an environment, you're putting in a lot for the people that you love. 
and you're kind of like the problem solver. You're you're kind of like the go-to person. You're the one that's kind of like keeping everything uh, cemented, okay? And it's through a lot of hard work, dedication, and like that labor of love that you're able to give so much of your energy, your time, and resources and attention to to kind of like be that that's that anchor in other people's lives, okay? You might be the one organizing family reunions, family get-together. You might be the one hosting uh, family members to come to your place. You're doing all the cooking, all the cleaning. And then, you know, everyone at the end of the day, they, they leave. And, you know, you're the ones doing the dishes. But you do it because it is a labor of love. It's for the people that you love. And so you don't keep scores. You don't sit there and, you know... Um, you don't sit there and, you know, pine over the fact that, oh, I'm doing a lot of the work. And I feel like there is going to be this karmic justice balancing out things. So if you have been on a time crunch, if you have been financially just, you know, putting in a lot of your time, uh, resources and a lot of energy and you find yourself very wobbled and you find yourself in this type of a predicament, I feel like what's coming into the picture is this... There's a resolution to this. People are going to start to see. You know, we can't really take that Virgo person for granted. They have a lot of things that they're struggling with in their lives, and they have a lot of things going on in their lives as well. We can't take their time for granted. We can't take their kindness for granted. And we especially can't assume that they're always going to do this. We need to also step up our game and move things forward ourselves. So I do see a lot of just reckoning and, and, and things coming into the picture that will allow you. It's going to alleviate stress from you. And it's also going to allow you to be in a better, much better, like, financial space even. If you're the one that's always been contributing, I do feel like, you know, there's a softening up of the energy, easing up of the energy, so that you're increasing your financial resources as well. Um, I see a very strong air sign energy, okay? So the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and, you know, the Justice card is the card of Libra. What I have here is the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords and the Justice card. All of these are sword energies, Six of Swords. So we have here an air sign in your environment, okay? This is somebody that is uh, a little bit threatened by your... The, your professional development, first of all, they're very, very threatened by the fact that a lot of things seem to just kind of land on your lap, okay? And, you know, a lot of the times, too, um, people kind of see, okay, so we all have our struggles. We all have our struggles. Some signs are a lot more vocal about what they're going through, what they're doing, you know, especially like fire signs and air signs. They're very vocal about like, oh, today I had to do this, and then after that I had to do this, and then after that I had to do this. You guys are more like the quiet type. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever um, you have to do, all your responsibilities, you don't whine or complain about it. You just knock them down one by one by one, and you stay late, even if you need to stay you know, for a few hours unpaid. As long as you can get your work done, you do it. And you do it because it's expected of you. So you don't come in with a sense of entitlement like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do that much. And then there's also that perfectionistic side of you where you want things done and you want things done right. Okay? So because you handle everything, people only see the end result, right? They only see the worldly success that you're able to, you know, achieve for yourself. They don't understand all the struggle, all the late hours, all the, you know, self-doubt even that went into it. They only see the end result. And so I feel like somebody's in your environment who sees all the fortune that you're able to accumulate, okay? We have the wish card here, the nine of cups. And this is like wish fulfillment, getting something. And this is what I mentioned earlier about the protective bubble. You have very strong protection.
And you have the universe working behind the scenes, conjuring things up behind the scenes in order to bring into the fold everything that your heart desires and everything that your heart wants. And so from the outside looking in, you have so much success. Everything that you wanted, it's like lined up for you so perfectly. And a lot of it has to do with just, you know, good karma accumulated over many, many years, over many, many months. Because you've done things properly. You don't even, like, regardless of how much effort and energy that you put in, you have never complained about it. You have never kept score. So-and-so is, you know, doing this only this much. So I'm only going to do that much. You don't play those. You don't fall into those petty games. So you did what you were supposed to do, even though it did take away from your time, your energy, your efforts. But other people, when they're looking in, they're seeing all this good karma coming back home to roost. They're seeing your world, worldly success. They're seeing your professional trajectory. We have here the chariot. This is forward movement, a lot of momentum, a lot of success coming into the picture as well. So they're seeing this and they're just like, how does that Virgo manage? How does that Virgo, you know, always land that job, always land that promotion, always have like um, amazing like performance evaluation, for example. How are they able to achieve, you know, that really, really good relationship partner that will be at their beck and call? How are they able to, the, the, the love relationship, it could be like um, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and then a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I'm seeing somebody who is, I'm seeing somebody who's dealing with some guilt. Okay, so I, I, I don't know if this is like, you know, somebody in the past, the way they treated you. And you definitely try to cut them out. And now they're coming back in and there's this apology. I do see that, that big, big apology. And then I also feel like friend um, from the family and the friendship circles, if there has been a falling out, if there has been a situation where you felt like, you gave somebody the truth, but I feel like they weren't ready to hear the truth because the Ace of Swords is greatly about truth, cutting through the uh, confusion, okay? Provided somebody um, a, a piece of your mind and telling them how things are. And I feel like there's so much in La La Land that they weren't able to accept the truth. And it could denote... I'm seeing this as somebody that might have children, okay? It could be, you know, their parenting style. Like you're giving somebody a dose of the truth. You know, that's a very touchy topic overall. We don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I feel like somebody is a little bit like delusional. They're not seeing a reality of a situation and they're not really, they, they might take a little bit more of a victim mentality or they might not see a situation clearly to be able to do something clearly and you're bringing in some insights. And I feel like at the time that you gave them this insight, um, a part of them knew it, knew it to be true, but they were head in the clouds without a care in the world. They weren't ready to receive the truth. And so there might've been a falling out. And I feel like there's going to be reconciliation. So I feel like this is family or friends, okay, who's coming in and telling you, you know, you're, you're, you were right the whole time. I wasn't ready to, to face the truth. So I, I feel like you're getting a major apology. But not only is it an apology, it's confirmation that your hard work, whatever you try to do in the past, you're getting confirmation that it's not falling on deaf ears. You're getting confirmation that, you know, all of this was, was for something. It's not wasted effort. It's not wasted energy, okay? So the other big thing uh, showing up in the picture here, I see there is a situation where you are trying to transition, okay? You're keeping a lot of information very, very close to your chest. You're not showing or, or telling people what you're doing, but you have some really big plans, okay? Um, you're still trying to figure it out yourself, how to get from, plan, uh, from, from point A to point B. 
and you're keeping everything very 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 close to your chest not showing your cards not sharing the information with other people because in the past you have shared information and I feel like something backfired um, I'm seeing like you know four months ago based on this card you shared some information so this would take us back into the November December time frame where some information was shared and somebody might have just uh, blabbed to the world and so now you're being a lot more strategic and you're keeping everything very close to your chest um, tightening tightening up that circle of close confidant okay and not really revealing your next move your next plan your strategy or whatever it is that you're trying to do but I definitely see some stealthy information that you're keeping to yourself and not revealing to other people mainly because you have a lot of you have like a lot of wishes riding on this specific thing and I also see you having to share this information possibly with another person like a higher up and you're telling them as well you know let's keep this very very hush hush because I'm a private person and I don't want this information review so I feel like it's a major next step in the trajectory of your professional life okay with this chariot energy forward movement okay uh, blasting through all the blockages and not having to um, not feeling like you're hitting a brick wall so this is just like you know uh, very very fast swift energy that will allow you a lot of uh, to succeed okay so I feel like there's a lot of things happening under the current under the scene like this major like swish of really really strong winds coming through in order to straighten out the situation for you um, yes so continue to keep things you know close to your chest don't review your cards be definitely be more strategic you have a lot of protection coming in so whatever is happening in your environment is really gonna bounce off you it's like you know um, it's it's not going to affect you emotionally the way it did in the past because you're putting up your barriers I feel you're putting up this you know um, protective barrier and I, I just feel like you've learned you, you you've learned who you can rely on who you can trust who you can give your time and your energy to you've already learned all of these things it took a really long time but I feel like you know the month of November and December were major revelations um, types of month it, a lot was revealed about who you could trust about how you can you know manage the the professional environment and I feel like as we end as we round out the month of March it's more about putting those things that you've learned into practice so that you can you know definitely move yourself and propel yourself forward I just feel like you know there's a very big um, love energy coming in and I feel like you know somebody is going to be showering you with showering you with love but also they're going to be telling you as well um, how they feel about you I have a very strong air sign here um, there might be geographical distance between you and this person so Aquarius Gemini and Libra I feel like they they're in and out of the picture I feel like there might have been some sneakiness on their end in the past and they're ready to give an apology and then I'm also feeling as well you know um, travel and movement that's going to be coming into the picture for you so if you're feeling a little bit bored with your current environment there's going to be some new energy this breath of fresh air that's coming in to clear up the stagnation and make life a lot more bubbly a lot more buoyant and a lot more interesting all right I'm going to leave it at that Virgos um, I do hope the reading is helpful I hope it resonates and uh, take care of yourself okay Thank you for the views, and you know, I uh, you guys are one of my favorite signs. Um, if you are interested in a reading, I have included a link in the description box below for a psychic. Her name is Bridget. She is based out of California. She is phenomenal. I've used her services um, within the past two years, and she's been very, very accurate for me. 
I've also recommended her to a bunch of my family and friends, and um, they really enjoy her reading. So if you're interested in booking a reading for yourself or for anybody that, that you know that might need spiritual advice, I highly recommend her. All right, take care of yourself. Talk to you soon.